They even wrote a children's book, stay with me, for children, where little talking toys brag to a child about how they're made with lead paint and it makes them better. So we know that industry will behave badly. In the same way, the gun industry makes weapons which are more lethal and more concealable with each passing year. When an 18-year-old buys a military-style assault rifle on his birthday and murders 19 children, the gun industry wants us to talk about mental health access. We know this is a distraction. There is no mental health policy that would save as many lives as reasonable gun laws would. So, in the same way that activists called out the lead paint industry and won government restrictions on their deadly product, we must demand a more regulated gun industry. We must demand a ban on assault rifles and high capacity magazines, and we must raise the age at which, at which somebody can legally buy a gun. is that public health progress often happens in a courtroom. Do you know why you don't see Joe Camel hooking kids on cigarettes anymore? Because the tobacco industry was sued. Do you know why cigarette companies can't hand out fun toys to kids? Because the tobacco industry was sued. Do you know why you don't see cigarette ads on billboards and in magazines? Because the tobacco industry was sued. But the gun industry cannot be sued. Although its product killed 40,000 people in our country last year, including 4,000 children, it is the one industry that has near total immunity in our country because of a law called the Protection of Legal Commerce in Arts Act, or PLACA. Even the acronym is ugly, PLACA. This fact should outrage you. You should, you should be tweeting How did that about happen? it as we speak. Um, it is one of the most suicide. unjust laws uh, murder suicide. Suicide. Oh my God. must be repealed. I'm so Victims sorry to hear that. Victims and survivors must be able to sue dangerous Sheesh. gun makers for damages. It would lead to... It's actually my mom's brother. Your mom's brother. Your mom's brother killed your father? You must be kidding me. Yeah. It would lead to economic justice for victims and radical that's, that's changes horrendous. in the way gun makers How old were you when that happened? and sell Eleven. their guns. Eleven. We must keep demanding the repeal of the gun I mean, what, why? What is the life of a uh, child I'm sorry? Worth? He just walked in and bought a gun. Gun manufacturers should have to... But too easy. But why, why would it happen? I mean, why, 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 did, why did he do what? that? A relative? What I hear you. No idea. What is the you still don't know? Gun don't manufacturers like, yeah. should have to find no, out. Something. Personal vendetta or something. Yeah. But he got the gun too easy. It was too easy for him to get it. Yeah, I mean. History see, the thing is, it, I mean, what, what are we to do? I mean, I understand it, it's a tragedy. So yeah. A tragedy. I have a difficult time pronouncing this word. <laughs> Hard time pronouncing that word. But, but how, how do you, I mean, solve, how can you solve this problem and prevent things like that from happening? I mean, realistically. I think people need to realize, so you know, it, we must do the same it, for it's guns. a real thing. There are times I mean, they don't people's lives understand, when they're struggling you know, the with severity of it until it happens to them. Or even with it's radical ideology unfortunate the that it, it we has must to demand that way, a national red flag law so I, people I have understand. a way of saying, I don't know what, you know what? what it's going to take You're or who it's going right to take to... Let's get those guns No, but what do you think would be a solution? Let's say if we lived in a perfect world. What, what if, let's say, you were in command? What would you have done? I mean, suffering such a incredible uh, you know, tragedy. What, what would you have done? Much has been made um, of the fact that when I personally don't up see the need for a gun, just in general. Uh -huh. And I know that, that they you know, there's the a lot of talk about raising the minimum to age to purchase a gun and, uh -huh. and all these things, which I think are progress and I think it's beneficial. But at the end of the day, I just don't understand why anybody needs. You are standing it's a gun. in the hallway right I, now. I personally, I mean, that's an unpopular opinion, I guess, but, you know, what's, what's the... What's the purpose of having a gun? Right, what's the, you, you know... You are standing well, in the hallway. I mean, I understand, you know, the hunting and, and the protection and, and stuff like that, but I mean... But that's a huge part, protection. I mean, you, you, you hit on it, protection. Right. But it is not so, I mean, that's what responsible people need the guns for. Right. So, I mean, what happens to your family? 
I mean, would not have prevented it anyway Do because you, you, you could have killed. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry to no, say, no, with a knife, right. or with I mean, yeah. all other means. If you have been dead against someone, with I mean, right. banning the guns would not have been a solution right. regardless. Right. Exactly. So He's that's why you know, as far as but it's you know, right? No, they're crazy people. There's nothing you can do with crazy people. I mean, that that's reality. So, but when it comes to law-abiding citizens, I think that as law-abiding citizen, it's our right to have guns for the sole purpose of protecting our households. So, so in other words, you're not against the people having guns then? Not necessarily. I just think if it's responsible and, you know, uh -huh. there's... You know, you have to be Thank 25 so to rent a car right now. You have to be uh -huh. 20 to drink. You have to be 18 Felix, to buy a gun. I mean, it's the only weapon really that's out there right now that uh -huh. is able to take together. someone's Thank life with a split-second decision. And you don't even get a chance to realize what you're doing in a lot of situations. I mean, it's, it's kind of an impulse thing and for how easy it is to obtain guns right Hi, now everyone. and the loopholes of the gun I want to thank you all for being here today. Rallies, it's, uh -huh. My name is Felix Tager. I'm 21 years old and I'm the March uh -huh. for Our Lives New York State no, Financial Director there's been no and the lead organizer for this event. Kind of turban, yes. Yeah. So, so in other words, you're not against Second Amendment per se. You're not against, 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 against people so owning guns, yeah, despite the, the, you know, what happened unfortunately like to your father. You're just uh, today, against what guns. the people having guns, guns, kids having guns, guns at 16, 17, whatever, like young American age. Yeah, I mean, I think that's your point. Progress. I think people need to understand the real consequences. National Action Network. You know, we Ed heard about Cash, children against guns, accidentally gifts, shooting themselves when they you know, and many find more. a gun in their house by accident. And it's, I it's, it's also just irresponsible. Our amazing I, I don't national understand team for our lives, what including our amazing I'm not director and our organizing director, guns, Brianna De Villiers, okay. as well as our March for Our Lives New York State. Well, well, responsible parents. Right. You know, I just spoke with a woman. Her own brother today. was uh, killed uh, Lastly, uh, by mother for getting just one day locking their guns. Yeah. Just like that, they were they were playing with the guns. However, however, no matter how tragic it is, here comes this word. <laughs> it's a personal responsibility. The responsibility course, thing. So, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but it doesn't matter. matter. I mean, yeah. it's my, well. I mean, that, that's mad. This year alone, yeah, but, but, there have been 255 mass like shootings. But, but, but again, if you're a responsible person, then it's really relevant. If you're a responsible person, you can have, you know, a tank. Right. Yeah. For what I care, you know. <laughs> well, then it's like March for our lives can started by high school decisions, survivors you know? of mass shooting. We all get pissed Marjorie off. Stone yeah, yeah that, that's true. But yeah. but again, coming back uh, to killing someone, it, should, it might should, could not necessarily be a gun. Must not necessarily be. It could be like anything, you know. So it, then it has nothing to do with the guns per se. It's about crazy people, and you cannot eliminate that. We're back to square one then. Because substantial action. If it was a knife, there's like you know, if it was something else, he could have defended himself, maybe, but or not die. Yeah, well, if, if you help ban on killing like someone, you know, yeah. <laughs> you'll, yeah. you'll find a way. Yeah. You'll find a way in the middle of the night, you know, sure. gun in the back of the uh, I don't even we want to talk about it. It's just so horrendous when you start thinking about it. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, I'm really sorry about to hear about, you know, your loss. But, you know, unfortunately, curbing the guns, it's really not going to solve anything. What we have not, what we have made incredible progress on the state level with over 100 new laws signed since we first marched four years ago. We need our federal government to follow suit. Mass shootings this year, then there were days in the year so far. This violence will not end. You know, I understand that, you know, to give it to God. People that still find guns, but uh -huh. something has to be done to uh, stop this, whether it's mental health, whether it's uh -huh. uh, increasing the age, whether it's banning the AI-15, I mean, who knows what it is, I don't know, but something is representative it's a problem. of a system I mean, that has failed us all as the let your children go to school, not even just the children, but anybody just walking around the street. I mean, and it was on the subway last Andrew night, Sorkin two months ago. Describes I mean, it's everywhere. How it's just, just fail us. We must find other well, I would think that perhaps uh, one of the As ways of doing that is more police presence, since, you know, you can't really cure sick people, uh, then the you need the more protection. And one of the ways of protecting yourself is precisely that, owning a gun. 
you sane people with a gun against insane people with a gun at least have a chance. That's that's true, but uh, there's you know I would like to believe there are more sane people in America than the insane. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other. But but it doesn't matter. Again, you have a gun, you can protect yourself. I mean that's that's the key. I mean, you should be using the thought process behind it, but. Are okay. people protecting hey, themselves? I mean, you don't even have police the transactions of firearms. Then more police in the streets. Right? For firearm purchases using their like services. For years, there is no excuse. Trained on how and when they do it. I mean, if someone just walked into your, well, these corporations you know, and politicians do nothing. People are dying. What are you going to do? You Children are being gunned down in their spots. There's another solution: this take these crazy people off the streets and put them behind bars. Not, not uh, have but them incarcerated, this then let out, incarcerated, then it let out. And unfortunately, that was happening in the you know cities like New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Well, not everywhere in the cities where well, I guess mayors or district attorneys are too lenient. They just recalled one in San Francisco precisely because of that. Uh, sure. We I mean, need I change, don't Delaware. we need it this now. In Delaware. They have, On behalf you know, of myself uh, and all of our organizers here today, laws, I thank you for coming. <laughs> See, <laughs> so that proves my point. Right, well, <laughs> Nothing to do with, with that. Are... More police presence. Well, what do you think, speaking of which, what do you think about this kind of, you know, movement of uh, defunding the police? Uh, is it a good idea or is it like totally no, no, insane no, idea, no, stupid idea, idea. defunding the police? Okay, good. So we're on the same page then. <laughs> okay, sorry. Keep touching you. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much. Felix, All right. Well, thank you. And again, I'm really, my heart goes out to you, man. <laughs> okay. We got it. Stay strong. <laughs> see ya. Uh -huh. Attorney General James, we see you. Thank you. Make some noise. Coming out. We see you. Thank you. Make some noise. Mayor Adams. And at this time, I'd also like to point out that a lot of elected officials are here. Yeah. Where are you? We are building a movement that is a grassroots movement to eviscerate gun violence in New York State. And we need help at the local, state, and federal level. Elected officials show up, come meet with us. We are building this movement, this is people power, and we are going to end gun violence across the country. Show it up with us.